the population of a certain town doubles every 25 years. If the population of the town was 51,200 in 1980, in what year was the population 6,400? So since this says the town doubles every 25 years, then that is the same thing as saying that this population is going to be cut in half every 25 years back from 1980. The half-life formula is this. A equals P times a half to the power of T over D. And we're going to start with the letter P. That is the population in the beginning, which is 51,200. A is the amount that we want to get at the end, which is 6,400. Half is just a constant. We're trying to figure out the time that it takes for this population to turn into 6,400. So we don't have that time. We're just going to leave that as a T divided by D. D represents the number of years that it takes cut this population in half, which is going to be 25 years. So to solve for T, the first thing we're going to do is divide both sides by 51,200. That is going to cancel this out right here. And if you take a calculator and divide 6,400 by 51,200, it simplifies to 1 eighth. The right side, we're going to just leave it the same. 1 half T divided by 25. And you can actually do this without taking natural logs. If you were to notice that 1 eighth can be written as 1 half raised to the third power. How do I get that? I always check to see if this number right here can be written in this base and 8 is the same thing as 2 to the third power. So always check for that because you can do this without a calculator. The right side we're going to keep the same and once the base of these are the same then all we got to do is set the exponents equal to each other. It's going to be 3 equals t divided by 25. This is just a single step equation now. Multiply both sides by 25 and we get 75 equals the time it takes for this to get cut in half every 25 years to get 6,400. From here, all we have to do is take the date that we started, 1980, and we're backtracking 75 years. So minus 75, that's going to equal 1905. Letter choice C, hope that was a good review of this formula. I actually have a short on how to solve this really fast, but I just wanted to review this topic. Like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next episode. Peace.